ever watched a movie that just sticks with you? Maybe it's the characters, the plot twists, or simply the way it makes you feel. That's the power of cinema. It can leave a lasting impression long after the screen fades to black. One such film that's etched in the memory of many is a gritty noir from the 1950s. It's not just about crime. It's a dive into the depths of human nature, showing how far people will go for what they want. As you watch, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions from laughter to shock to heartache. And there's more to it than just what you see on screen. Behind the scenes stories add layers of fascination to the experience. So settle in and prepare for an unforgettable journey through a timeless exploration of desire and humanity. Share your own tales of movies that have left a mark on you. We'd love to hear them. In 1950, a film emerged that would forever change the landscape of crime dramas. The Asphalt Jungle, directed by John Huston, isn't just any noir film. It's a masterclass in tension, deception, and moral ambiguity. Set in a gritty urban jungle, the film delves into the lives of a group of criminals planning a daring heist. Each character is complex, with their own motivations and flaws, making for a gripping narrative that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The Asphalt Jungle isn't just a movie, it's a window into the darker side of human nature, where desperation and greed collide with devastating consequences. It's a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day, reminding us that in the world of crime, nothing is ever as it seems. In 1950, a gritty film emerged, leaving a significant impression on cinema history. One of the actors from this film holds a remarkable record in the movie world. His presence graced six films recognized for their cultural importance, including several classics such as Duck Soup, The Life of Emile Zola, and Notorious. His contribution solidified his place in American cinema history. Another actor from the same film had a lasting impact beyond its story. A character in a Perry Mason TV movie was named in homage to him. This subtle nod speaks to the enduring influence of the film and television. Additionally, another actor from the film ventured into various genres, from crime dramas to sci-fi television series. His presence in these shows showcased his talents across different styles of entertainment. These actors, connected through their involvement in the film, became part of various cinematic legacies, extending their influence from crime dramas to television shows. Each contributed to the broader world of entertainment, leaving their mark in film history. Returning to the farm in the dilapidated 1939 Plymouth Coop, Dix, a central character, sets the tone for the narrative. The film features Marilyn Monroe, who later achieves significant recognition, ranking six on the American Film Institute's 50 Greatest Screen Legends list. Nearly 11 years after her passing, Monroe graced the cover of the Tuesday, July 17, 1973 edition of Time magazine in a full-color portrait by Burt Stern. The cover marked the release of Norman Mailer's biography, Marilyn, retailing for $1995, approximately $100 in 2008 inflation-adjusted value. Despite Mailer's displeasure over the cover's emphasis on Monroe, the publication became a notable event in the literary world. In the world of entertainment and history, there are tales of remarkable achievements and memorable moments. One such story revolves around a person armed with a degree in speech and drama who found love while teaching at a university. Alongside them, another figure, known for a famous performance, set a record at an auction, while someone else's cinematic works earned recognition for their significance. Each of these individuals, whether through their academic endeavors, memorable performances, or cinematic contributions, has left a lasting impact on their respective fields. Amidst the filming, Marilyn Monroe faced struggles due to her battles with sadness and self-harming behavior. These troubles led to many retakes of scenes in the asphalt jungle. One famous scene, where her dress blew up around her legs over a subway grating, needed lots of reshooting because of noise from people watching during the first shoot. Despite the challenges, they eventually got the scene right, and it became a big part of Monroe's legacy. When the film came out in Britain, there were worries about American slang, but they didn't need to change anything and it did well. Also, actor Gene Evans had a special moment with director Samuel Fuller when he gave back a prop from their last project together, showing their strong friendship and respect for each other. Stories like these show the difficulties and the close relationships behind the scenes of this classic movie. Trained at Chicago's Goodman Theater, Barry Kelly showcased his acting skills in the asphalt jungle. This 1950 crime flick earned recognition from the American Film Institute in 2001 securing its place among the top 400 movies considered for the 100 most heart-pounding American movies. James Whitmore, another important member of the cast, had an interesting connection to the film. While he was studying at the American Theater Wing, he met and married his first wife, Nancy Mygat, 
who worked as the press agent for the wing at that time. These personal stories from the actors give us a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of The Asphalt Jungle, a movie that continues to captivate audiences with its intense story and great performances. In 1950, a timeless film emerged, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Beyond its frames, the people involved had their own intriguing tales. A celebrated actress, she graced the screen with her presence, creating memorable moments on and off camera. In 1962, at a birthday celebration, she wore a dress so tight that it had to be sewn onto her, requiring her to sit still for an hour. A few years earlier, in 1953, facing contractual constraints, she opted for a new car as payment for an appearance on a show. The car, a token of her unconventional choice, eventually found its way into the hands of the son of her acting mentors on his 18th birthday. On a different note, a seasoned actor left his mark in films that stood the test of time. He appeared in two Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, showcasing his talent and bringing characters to life on the big screen. As the curtain falls on these behind-the-scenes glimpses, it becomes evident that the narrative extends beyond the film, revealing fascinating tales of a tight-fitting dress, a unique payment preference, and notable roles in acclaimed films. Considered a prime example of film grist by critic Tom Anderson, this 1950 noir film presents a gritty perspective on the criminal underworld, exploring the complexities of crime and morality. Starring Struther Martin, an actor linked to this movie, alongside Paul Newman, they shared the screen in various films, contributing to the success of works like The Silver Chalice, Harper, Cool Hand Luke, Butch Cassidy, and The Sundance Kid, Pocket Money, and Slapshot. Marilyn Monroe, also associated with this film, remains a cultural icon with numerous books delving into her life and legacy. Despite her brief appearance, Monroe's influence on popular culture extends beyond, solidifying her status as a Hollywood legend. In conclusion, this pivotal piece in film noir transcends its release year, leaving an indelible imprint on cinematic history. The collaboration between Struther Martin and Paul Newman, along with the presence of Marilyn Monroe, adds depth to the narrative of this influential work. In the world of 1950s movies, there's a film that brought together some notable names. One person in it didn't quite reach the same level of fame as the others, despite being part of a famous ensemble. One actor found success on TV, but left after feeling unhappy with the roles she was given. Another actress, who played a character later portrayed by someone else in a different movie, had a background in portraying another famous figure on stage. These actors, each bringing their own talents, played important roles in a movie that marked a significant moment in cinematic history.